This is Kama CP5 pedal and it's probably the cheapest pedal in the market right now and it's also work as a standalone device so you can use it with any steering wheel that you have It is a hall sensor and the build quality is quite solid you can see it's all metal here Okay, and hall effect sensor that ensure that it will never broke So basically this pedal have like two main problems about it I'm gonna reveal this pedal to you and let's see so okay everyone, I just made a simple design of the camera CP5 here and I will show you all of the components So I will start with axle first, here's the axle So the axle is designed like this and you can see that we have a slit here So the slit is for using the nut to lock it here and the, the next one is pedal Okay so when you want the axle and the pedal to move together what you do is you tighten this nut okay and it will stuck here and then uh, the nut and the whole assembly will go together like this and at the end of axle we have a magnetic here so magnetic will be here and then magnetic will interact with the hall effect sensor here and when the magnetic move closer to hall effect sensor it will pick up more value like this when you press you get more value and then when you not press the value just go down and the last one is uh, the pedal base just to hold everything in place like this so now you know all of the component here and as you can see here's camera cp5 how it works very simple and that is why this pedal is super cheap okay i think it's the cheapest pedal you can find in the market right now and since this one is hall sensor so you don't have to worry about the wear down the life cycle it just work i think this one is a great design but what keep it from being the great pedal is here when it's idle okay it will be here you can see that the magnetic is far from hall effect sensor right and when you start pressing it all the way you can see that the magnetic is here and hall effect sensor is here so the problem is when pedal is in natural position sometime from the factory this magnetic is too far from the hall effect sensor so it will not pick up the signal until you press around this, this area then it start picking up signal okay that is why this pedal has a lot of dead zone because this thing is not adjust properly but it's not only dead zone because the magnet is still very far from the hall effect sensor and it just start picking up the resolution from this hall effect sensor is quite low i mean it's really low you can see in this clip here the most simple fix you need to move the magnetic closer to this okay so what you should do is when you press all the here the magnetic should be here right you can just adjust this magnetic this nut and then you just move the magnetic here so right now this when you not press it, it will be like this and when you press all the way it will be like this and since it is closer to the hall effect sensor the resolution will be very high and i mean it's like double triple the resolution that from before that you got so another thing that you need to watch out when you correct the magnetic position is when it not press okay and when it press all the way here you can see that here the magnetic and and the sensor it just closes and the value will be peak in your pedals the value that you read will be like when you not press it here and when you press it just halfway the value will go up all the way and when you press it more than that the value will just go down again so when you fix the position it need to be like closest when you press it all the way here so this is how to fix it to make it higher resolution and make it no dead zone at all but the main problem here is it's not that easy so the problem is can must glue this magnetic and this axle down together so you will have nut here right but you cannot remove this nut so you cannot move just only magnetic if you move magnetic the axle will be moved and when the axle moves this screw will not be in place and i will show you so what i do here is i need to adjust when you press it all the way and the magnetic will be in place so i do just move only the magnetic here okay i move the magnetic i move the pedal here and this thing should be okay now but the problem is this nut that we use to secure this thing together it doesn't work on this because this is not flat when you screw it in it will just put the whole axle and magnetic back to the original position that that it is cannot move again so you can see that the problem is still persists so my workaround is what i do is i move it like this and then i add a double side tape into this lid and i hope that it will just go into the space inside and we we'll just stuck these two things together and when i did it i don't know if it will work or not so i just use the double side tape if it doesn't work i just pull it out but in the end it just 
it still have some a little bit like a wobble wobbly thing so i would recommend if you need to do it the same as i do here i would recommend using the glue if you can put this axle and pedal to make it move together all the time this pedal will just work just fine you will get like a super high resolution and it will solve all of the problem that you see here and sadly this is very common problem in almost all cp5 because i think i don't think qc is good enough to correct all of this small detail i think camera need to improve on their qc quality or at least what they can do right now is if they stop pushing the glue between the magnetic and the axle and let the user adjust the magnetic position by user self i think this problem will not be a problem at all okay so user can just move it to the position they like screw it down and everything will be good and cp5 will be like a perfect pedal for super cheap price and that is all i have to complain about this ipad so one funny thing about this pedal is you use this one at usb-c right but you cannot use usb-c to connect it to the computer directly it will not work what you need is you need usb-c to usb-a adapter like this Here is a default curve, so I will show you. With the default curve, you see the brake force. Here is zero percent, right? And this one is one hundred percent. Okay, zero percent, one hundred percent. So basically, just go up quite slowly, quite slow, 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 and then in the last percent, it just go exponentially fast, like this. You can see that. Yeah, it's just very short, but the power go up really high. But in this hard, just going very slow, and you can see that it's still problem in the in the pedals. But right now you will be able to fix it using this brake gamma. So you adjust it like this. So basically, basically the stock pedal will have something like this inside the pedal, inside the software of the pedals. But to fix to fix that, you just need to use something that uh. Opposite. So I use this profile like this, and let's see again. So basically, when I press it, you see, right? I press it very slow, but very small. But the value just go up a, a lot quicker. Okay. So we have something like this, which is quite different from what we have here. And right now, it's a, uh, it's more familiar with other pedals. So you can just jump into this pedal and get fast. Instantly, this one is the most annoying thing that I have with these pedals, and it's fixed with the software right now, and it takes about four months from what I initially complained to them. If you don't see the brake curve, you just make sure that you need to update this firmware to the latest version, and it should be up here. So this is my really short review for the CP5 pedal. I hope you like it. And for me, I think this pedal is a solid pedal, and uh, it's a good replacement for those who have like the uh, Logitech pedal that break down or Trustmatter pedal that like have a broken spring like I have here I think right now it's a solid pedal with a, a good software support right now and the only thing that it lacks is still the first party uh, like a brake damper or something like that but for me I, I think for most people they can DIY it and for me I think this, this is enough so good luck stay safe and have a good one Bye.